So in this hand, the straddle is not on, and action folds to me. I'm second to act here. Slightly confusing with all of these uh, blinds out there, but I am second to act, and I open up a six of diamonds, suited ace. Seems like it's worth an open, so I make it forty dollars to go. Action folds around to Akib in the small blind, who looks down at pocket threes, and he decides to go for the three bet, and he makes it one hundred and ten dollars, and it folds back to me. Definitely not big enough uh, for me to fold in this spot with a suited ace. It's less than 3x, um, so th I'm just never folding here. If Akib had made it 4x, if he had made $160 here to go, could maybe entertain a fold, but uh, for not even 3x, my original open, gotta see a flop here. So I go ahead and put in the call. Flop comes down rather favorable for the ace six of diamonds. It comes down ace eight six with two spades. He puts out a C bet and he bets $140. I don't think there's too much point in raising here. I think calling is probably better. Uh, if he does have an ace, he's gonna continue. And if he doesn't have an ace, we probably just fold out a lot of his bluffing range. So I just call to keep ranges wide and we go ahead and see a turn card. Turn is a great card for us. Offsuit deuce changes nothing on the board and shouldn't kill any action as far as uh, if my opponent were to have an ace king, ace queen type hand. For sure, he should be continuing here with those types of hands. Akib does continue with his pocket threes. Tries to keep the uh, keep telling the story. He bets three hundred and forty dollars. Same situation on the on the turn. I'm not looking to fold out any bluffs. Happy to keep ranges wide, so that's what I do. I go ahead and flat call once again. Akib seems to uh, have waved the white flag here. He checks the river over to me. River card seems mostly good for my situation, my hand. And I have less than a pot size bet here. Pot is 11.95, and I have 10.68. With all of the draws having missed, it seems like I can polarize my sizing here. So that's what I do. I go ahead and jam it all in there. Uh, versus Akib's exact hands, it's going to be very tough for him to make a call here. And eventually, not surprisingly, he lets it go. But I think versus an ace king holding, uh, even maybe an ace jack holding, ace ten. Any sort of ace, a big bet here, forcing him to make a decision is the best play. And not only that, but Akeep had shown a willingness to make some call downs, and I think he kind of prides himself on that sort of thing, making some some light call downs. And he had already done that once or twice at this table. He had called down versus DJ with uh, Ace King High, and it was good. And he called down versus Zach in another spot where Zach had trip aces, uh, and he lost that one. So I'd seen him make a few river calls, prior to this prior to this one. So I just went for the max, polarized my bet sizing versus a player who was who'd shown some tendencies to make some calls. I don't think he had the hand this time that he was willing to make that kind of call with. He lets it go. So we went a pretty decent sized pot here. We get a good flop. Couldn't get any more value on the river though.